Hello, British video game nerd back online. Today, there's no uh, video game recording today. Um, my camera is on charge, and well, basically, I want to do something different today. And well, as you may notice on my Twitter account a few minutes ago, I'm doing a audio Q and A. That's right, um, audio question and answering. Um, maybe because um, if there's some people want to ask me some questions on my Twitter accounts, they do so. Anything involving video games, the geek culture, or anything in particular. Um, feel free to do it on my Twitter accounts. That's um, in um, the address is at British Game Nerd um, Twitter account. And once you type down the questions, I'll answer them in this video um, as soon as possible. And um, hopefully, you get the answers what you needed or wanted or whatever. Um, I already got two of them right now um, from Great Big Blog, um, one of the people I follow on my account. So. Um, I think they under which do post great stuff. So if you fancy following them too, um, please do so. At great, um, was it at great bit blog? But the first question is, what are your thoughts on the Nintendo and the DENA partnership? Um, I knew someone's got to ask me this at um, some point. So let's get to the chase. I think it's a big joke. I honestly think Nintendo is. Um, pretty much crushing everybody's spirits right now with all this, you know, partnership and um, flagging people and copyright claims, all this um, malarkey. Now, uh, this is one of my thoughts about Nintendo right now. I mean, I'm not criticizing the developments and the team and the games. I mean, they're pretty good. I mean, I, I like my Wii U's as much as everybody else. Um, well, the same as everybody else, but anybody who love, likes the Wii U, I mean, it's a good console. And we did some great games. I mean, there was a huge amount of good titles out there. But but when it comes to dealing with the YouTubers out there, I think they're just being absolute bullies. I just and they can the looks of things they may never stop. But I hope they do because well, let's face it, they they, they are going to force people out of their business. It's going to affect the. Well, it's going to fit the source of business, the incomes, and most importantly, the reputation is going to be in tatters if they keep up with this partnership and the flagging and everything. I think what's happening personally, I think Nintendo is still in the dinosaur ages. They just don't think that this is the 21st century. They just still think they can control whoever they uh, post it on online and basically they can get away with it. Well, let me put you this way, Nintendo. YouTube had the same sort of problems with copyright claims, but was in 2013, yeah, about 2013, and look what happened. People nagged to death, and eventually, that's at some point, Google had to sort this out, because otherwise people would, be, people would boycott uh, their uh, services, uh, people would keep nagging, nag, nag, nagging, and would never stop. And basically, uh, they just call every, every curse name under, under the roof. Literally, they, and the Nintendo is having the same problems. Maybe because they just don't think that when people post things online, I know there may be some some issues with copyright claims and you know um, agreements on what's right to post and what's not. There's a big debate on that one at the moment. But let's, it's like free advertisement. Nintendo aren't paying them to do it. They're doing this to themselves. Because they want to do it. They want to advertise something they like. Which is from your business. And if they say, it's good, buy it. More pe other people will think the same thing. They'll buy your products and you get more money. That's the point we're trying to put across. But Nintendo is sort of thing sticking the fingers in their ears and go la 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 la. Because, let's face it. They don't give a crap about us. They only care about one thing only that keeps them going. Money. Money, 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 money. And that's the problem. Right there, right in, in the center of the circle, is money. Everywhere else, it's just basically non-existent to them. All they care about is the income and the gains they produce and the, you know, all that sort of stuff. And when it comes to... You know, when it comes to everything else that matters, they just completely ignore it and act like a bunch of dictators. I know that sounds a bit harsh, but that's what I think about it. They are becoming sort of um, gaming dictators. They just don't, they just don't respect 
the fans of the community, the fans of the, you know, fans of the gaming community in general, and they just don't care. And that's why I think Nintendo has to stop all this nonsense, because one of these days, they are going to be under the rocks so, so long that they're going to be forgotten, and basically they're going to be out of business in, in well, we're pretty much screwed up. So, so the, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm going to say. The Nintendo sponsorship is a big joke. They should stop this before they're going to end up pretty much lose everything they have. And they have a lot to have. This is the second question. Uh, do you have any interest on the Steam controller and Steam Link? Well, this is, um, this is going to be a bit of a shocker to you guys. Um, I only signed up to Steam recently. Main reason, um, I never had a gaming PC until recently, about a few weeks, I'll say, was it two weeks ago? Yeah, about two weeks ago. Uh, main reason, um, I have already had laptops in my lifetime. And I never, I had desktops, but not really powerful ones, just ones for, you know, general purposes, but never gaming-wise. Um, most of the time I had laptops, because I used to travel a lot. Well, back was in university years, and well, I had to bring it with me to do my, you know, my coursework and go on the internet and so forth. But none are quite powerful enough to do Steam. Um, but recently, we had my new PCs um, uploaded, which if you in my Twitter account and my Instagram, you probably know all about that by now. And uh, my new gaming PC is, uh, well, it's one, it's one hell of a beast. <laughs> yeah, um, and it will do Steam n nicely. And I've already got some games installed, and you know, um, like Half Life 2, um, the uh, Gary's Mod, um, Team Fortress 2, if you, uh, that which you can get for free, um, Counter Strike Source, um, all the good stuff in there. Um, so that's, um, but I'm still um, in the middle of playing these things, um, playing these games um, on my like PC, which is. Um, which is which is holding up really nicely. I mean, it's a really nice treat. But um, when it comes to you know getting interest in the Steam Controller and Steam Link, that's another question. I'm sort of looked at, I've looked into it and it looks interesting enough, but probably, but still not enough for me to you know think, ooh, I'd like to buy that straight away. I'm going to save up some money or take a loan or something to buy them. I haven't really fought into that point yet. Maybe in the future I would, but at the moment the answer is no. I'm sort of yes and no. Yes, it looks interesting to Steam Control and Steam Link, but it's a point to buying it. Not yet. No. It's, it hasn't got into that far part, part of the stage um, of interest. 